maybe that's what uh, Alpha X hashtag is gonna go back to. But Signal throw a wild card here. Looks like it will be the Ember Spirit down mid, perhaps, and the off lane puck or safe lane Ember Spirit mid lane puck. Something else for the off lane. Regardless, you have a lot of flexibility now with Signal's draft. I mean, that's the thing, though. Jamesy, he had such a great time last game on the Ember. It's like either way, you give him the puck, give him the Ember, he's going to be a happy man. Especially if he can just repeat the kind of performance he just had. Which I'm sure he can. Though Alpha definitely want to put a bit of a spanner in the works if they can with their own draft. And again, we do see that reserve time starting to tick down, down to about a minute. And I assume this will be another support pickup coming out. So they'll think about it quite heavily. Radiant team Back to the Shadow Shaman for Polison, and we've seen this quite a few times. So, even more push this time. You have the Leshrac, you have the Serpent Wards. I don't mind this opening. It does look like a pretty strong draft already. The problem is, though, it relies so much on them trying to get map control before that 15-20 minute mark. And now Crystal Maiden coming out, followed by the Alchemist. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. It does feel like these heroes are going to be eating a lot of space early on. Leshrac, Alk... Both need some decent enough farm. The left track, of course, can pressure these towers very quickly, but based on how Alpha X hashtag has been playing, you take a look at that last game and look at the farming patterns com coming out from Miracle and from Nothing to Say. I don't know if this draft actually suits them too well. I think Signal Ultra, with their draft and what they have, just being able to go online on a snap with these highly mobile heroes in the puck and Ember, being sustained by that mana or by the from the Crystal Maiden, the great control in terms of slows that she gives you, and you know that one excellent root from her, the root from the Ember Spirit, the Dream Coil coming out from Puck. I can see Signal just sustaining their aggression here. It's it's uh, it's mildly concerning from Alpha X hashtag. They have really good early game in terms of the fact that Ogre Magi and Shadow Shaman are pretty much strong lane dominators. You have great control for that Ember Spirit as well and just that Shadow Shaman. Your team fight really looks a bit wonky. You don't have any big spells to really watch out for. I guess you're really re relying on the Leshrac to land his stuns and the Shadow Shaman to keep one or two people locked in. But beyond that, in terms of big team fights, Hashtag takes a while to come online in that department. Especially that Elk. He takes a lot of investment to come online. He needs to get that good start. Signal is going to be contesting those bounty runes every single time now, understanding that the Alchemist is going to be depending on that added gold for himself. It's interesting to say the least, as Alpha, final pickup for them. I do love the Monkey King band coming out. That would have been a pretty disastrous pick had Signal picked them up, up against the Alchemist in that lane. Alpha, how do you finish this off? Five Does seem like you need a bit more, a uh, bit more crowd control, maybe a bit more team fight, just to allow the alchemist to break the distance and get those right clicks started. Radiant team pick. Legion well, Legion Commander will be the pick, and I suppose that is more single pick off than anything. Is pretty good in the lane though, and essentially there's no real counters towards that on the side of Signal Ultra. Well. I mean, that's Alpha X hashtags draft. It looks pretty decent, John. Uh, you didn't sound like you were too big of a fan. I suppose we'll see how Signal fin is, finishes there off. Straight into the jug. I mean, it's mm. fairly standard stuff, and we haven't seen much, but up against the Leshrac, Spin is a, is a very, very useful tool to have. I like the lineup from Signal Ultra a lot more. Um, Alpha X hashtag. It's great on single targets, but I don't think Signal is going to be splitting up too much. You take a look at that lineup, they can sustain themselves quite well if they group up as five. They've got great healing from the Jug, great damage coming out from all these heroes. They have really even power spikes, so they're decent in the laning phase. They come online in mid phase. 
And towards that late game, you do have some scalability as well in all these heroes. Alpha X hashtag, they're going to have to hold on in that early game. Make sure nothing to say gets his form. Make sure Miracle can get that impact he wants. Allow the Slush Rack to melt towers, along with Paulson. Right, Get that early push going, shut down the map, and try to find some dual wins with Velo. Because if you don't find that, then you'll be playing into this aggression signal Ultra has naturally with her draft. The moment Jamesy and Eris manage to get enough gold to be active on the map and start running around, they will. And they can, because these heroes are highly mobile. That they are. That they are. Well, this will be the second game of this BO2. After this, of course, we do have two more series after this, so it is still uh, pretty early on in the night for us. What's more Dota to come? Uh, much, much, much more Dota to look forward to is what I was trying to say. Is Getting into it very, very soon. Uh, John, our next series, by the way, in case you were wondering, is going to be Reality Rift versus Geek Fam. Uh, so there's that, in case anyone was wondering. Of course, Geek Fam going to be uh, definitely needing those points to try and take their second spot position back off the side of Signal Ultra. Now, nobody wins. Get into it. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Now, Balance. nobody wins. For battle. Landing stage, Eris, gonna be on the puck. Uh, is that a cool undying, John? Not bad at all. Not bad at Looks all. Looks like it. Um, that is gonna be interesting to say the least. Uh, hmm. I. It's been a very long time with that. It has been, and I cannot say I approve, but <laughs> it should be interesting to watch. Uh, I played a lot of Corrin Dying. It's one of my best heroes, let's be real, and it just has not really fit in. I'm curious to see what Van skills up. He does go for the Decay level 1, of course, but is he going to max the Soul Rift? Are we going to be seeing uh, emphasis on that? As the core does tend to play around that, if not the Decay. Tombstone tends to be an afterthought because you can't do too much with it. Massive cooldown. Bot lane. On. Paulison, first blood will go the way of Signal. They were trying to chase Grimms on the CM. They will not find the CM. A nice pick up there from Signal to start off this game. And AXH will probably have to give away both these banner runes down to the bot lane. And that means they're going to have to fight over the top ones instead. Nothing to say. We'll try and help secure. As he needs them desperately on the Alchemist. He will. Oh, actually, they find three of them. Tree. Well, there you go. And Velo, he might actually find Grims on the CM. Though Grims is duking very nicely, but Velo needs two more right clicks to get this job done. There's one. One more will do it, and Velo will find it. So another nice pickup. One to one already. And is that a puck falling low on HP? Yeah, it is. Eris, he goes down as well. So AXH somehow will find three boundaries as well as two kills. That's a really good start for them. That does set them up nicely into this laning phase. Oh, Nando. They are going to have to really keep in mind with these strange lanes, though. I mean, Nando drops very, very low as well down at the bot lane on the jug. So AXH being very aggressive early on. Uh, back to this core undying. So you go for the level 1 decay, which is fairly standard no matter what kind of undying you're playing. After this, I assume Soul Rip rather than Tombstone? It really depends. For the most part, yeah, Soul Rip, I would say you get a lot more value, especially as a core. With Soul Rip, uh, Tombstone is just way too long of a cooldown, costs you so much mana, you have to commit and really find something with it. As a core, you really just want to farm up and maybe harass the enemy core. So, Soul Rip does allow you to do that. In fact, I'd say Max Soul Rip is the name of the game if you're going to play that offlane and dying. In fact, if you could afford to skip out in Tombstone, just because level 1 is just so bad, you could greed out like that, 2, 3, 0, 1. And that does give you a lot more. It, it gives you so much more presence than laning phase. It was 
van. Going to be able to spam out so many more decays in the laning stage as well. Because of that CM aura that he's going to have. The aggression coming out. Eris and Van really want to apply it to Miracle on this Leshrac. Who currently has 400 HP. Thanks to those decays. Of course, Eris also went for that other uh, Ring of Bassi early on. And that's going to escalate Van with the mana regen as well. And... That appears to be the name of the game. Just make this lane absolutely miserable for this Lash Rack. And I suppose we'll see what happens after that with Van on that on dying. Mid lane, nothing to say. Right now, is just free farming. Uh, Jamesy has left the lane and has picked up a haste rune. is going down bot. He's going to find Polison. Gets level 1 chains off and should find a kill with that flame guard and does do so. Is it worth leaving the Alchemist, though? No. Definitely isn't. He does manage to get himself five last hits while that's going. Five last hits above Jamesy now, so... He does escalate quite a fair bit. This is a really good start for nothing to say. He should be able to escalate quite hard unless Signal starts to keep him in check. They really ought to fairly soon. Don't want to face off against an Alk that gets that decent start. They don't have any natural way of stopping his regen. From the chemical rage, we don't have anything like the AA in this game. Oh, Winter falling low to Van, though. They're gonna try and turn this, but Van is so tanky. Diabolic Edict is pop Miracle. He's not dealing enough damage, I don't think. Van should drop and does. Eris, can he find a trade? Miracle salves up immediately. And well, yeah, he'll go down. Nice pickup for the Leshrac. It clears out both of them with that Diabolic Edict. And I, initially, I didn't think it was gonna be enough. Just due to the amount of decay stacks Van had, apparently it was. This build coming out from Van is the old school core Undying build, They're emphasizing that decay. He should be able to get a lot of value from that. Uh, if he does find this kill in Miracle, I can't say anything, but it is a bit rougher. I think this costs you so much more mana. And you do have that great sustain from the Arcane Aura and the Basilius. I think nuking them down with the Soul Rip around that creep wave is. A bit more cost efficient overall. Again, they jump on Miracle. Silence is there, though that decay did not land. So things will continue as per normal. They look down at that bot lane. bellow has been having a pretty darn good time on the Legion Commander. Nando is going to make the chase and try to shut that down as much as possible. Bellow, pretty hard to kill on the LC. They'll force him to salve up at the very least. Nando, he'll just get back to farming as well. So far, so good. I mean, the Alchemist is farming very well. Bellows farming very well. Uh, Miracle having a much harder time in the top lane, but he's still getting there. In fact, Bellow may actually go down, but no, he will just press the attack and just run away. Uh, and Jamesy actually ends up finding Polison behind his own T1 tower. Yeah, Jamesy has been really active finding out these kills. Does manage to spot that rotation out, takes him out. Good amount of gold going his way. As you do this, you are giving nothing to say that space. This is something we talked about the first time he rotated out. You give so much more to this elk. They do manage to find an even trade in Roots as well. So nothing to say, he's set to snowball in this early game. Nando super low down in that bot lane. I have to go shrine up for him to be able to continue this farm, but this uh this solo lane up against the LC now is just becoming unbearable for him. You just can't solo up against an LC. It's moment of courage is a thing. Press the attack just keeps him up the whole time. Well, top lane. Miracle, he was falling quite low. Eris is falling quite low himself. Van will just continue farming up quite decently on the Undying. Jamesy, again gonna find Polison, just right behind that T1 tower in the mid lane. Really diving deep, but he's currently 3-0, so... Although he's not shutting down the Alchemist, which is still concerning me... He's finding kills, which should concern AlphaX hashtag. I don't think it's actually escalating his farm as much as you'd want to right now. Although he is second in the third, just behind the Alchemist, so he's in a pretty decent spot himself. Hopefully enough, that does allow him to build up his early items and get even more of an early game presence. He wants to be nailing down those cores, 
not necessarily the supports, but keeping Paulson down has slowed his level progression, and as long as he doesn't get that fast 6, your towers should be relatively safe. A lot of heroes making their way down bot to try and sort out Nando on this jug. Because he is a very hard kill because he does have that spin available. But Velo, if he can get a jewel off, and he'll just go straight forward just before the spin comes out. And with that, the follow-up damage will be there. They don't get the victory, but they find a very important kill. And now they can take a tier 1 tower very easily. Yeah, that should be a very nice take for them. Uh, no deny attempt going to be coming out from Signal Ultra. Unfortunate that the dual damage didn't come in. It does look like Signal will try to get the same thing done up top, switching out this top lane. Not as fast though, but they should get some chip damage in. Paulison, he chased down. Orb is there. They will find Paulison. Bello now, he'll be chased down as well. Jamesy with the flame guard, just going to burn him alive. Yeah, Chains is there. He tries to purge it off. Nando actually committed the Omni for that. He does pick up the kill. Oh. Looks like he just wanted to secure it, but that was very unnecessary. It did seem like overkill. Um, he would have ticked out anyway, at the very least from maybe the flame guard and right click. Still, that does give Nando a nice kill. He does need everything he can get. He is trailing behind the LC by about 1k. Has a lot more to play catch up with in terms of this game compared to his last game. In a much better position than Miracle is right now. He is sitting at 2.4k net worth behind the Undying. So whatever they're doing up here up top lane, Van has done a fantastic job. He did go for 3 3. So a bit of a switch up, but no point in Tombstone. Playing that greedy coral. Again, you do not need a tombstone. It's a bit too sacrificial, a waste of a skill point when every single point does count for the Undying. Whereas may get caught out, and yeah, Orb will be thrown out, but Shackle is there from Paulison. And Miracle, in fact, Velo will clean up the kill with the overwhelming odds. I was about to ask you, this Undying, like, where does he head off later on? Like, once we hit that mid-game, what is the point of this Undying? Once you hit mid-game with the Undying, it's just... It's gonna be down to... Uh, trying to build up those big items, like the Guardian Grief is gonna be a big timing item. Oh, jump in top lane, fan, gonna pop the flesh goal. They're out of mana. They are. Eris, he wants to take advantage of it. Decays will start coming out, and Polison, he may be the one to just go down. Orb is there, and Van will clean it up once again. And the Undying, he's just a very hard target to try and go for. And Miracle may still be in trouble as Grimms does oh. rotate around, and yeah, they'll pick up another. 9 to 6 now. The saving grace is still the fact that nothing to say is essentially been free farming on the Alchemist and Velo has been doing the same. Although, as I say that, Velo gets chased down. Remnant from Jamesy. He needs one more. Sends a remnant out and Velo is dead. They do also lose out in a couple of bounty runes as well. I believe that was a 3 for 1. Not too happy for nothing to say. Still, he is escalating nicely. He's just about 700 gold away from that Radiance recipe, which will accelerate his farm, give him a lot more presence in these fights. And that could be a major issue for Signal. They have not kept this Alk in check. They have kept Miracle down, but he can still melt towers as long as he has the EXP. Top lane, Eris starts off with the Dream Call. Miracle, he's in trouble, though Velo is coming in. Van about to drop, tries to go for the Sorrow, doesn't find the kill. Velo gets his first dual victory of the game. You seemed a bit shocked about that kill, John. Meanwhile, mid though, mm. nothing to say. Nando committing another strange Omni Slash with the Jug through the Creep Wave. And nothing to say walks out of there alive. But uh, your point on the Undying kill, what happened there? He really held off in that self soul grip for a long time. He was in range of a decent amount of creeps, at the very least, give himself some HP back, and then cast the Decay. Held out a bit too long, and does pay for it. That's a pretty big kill, that he was worth a decent amount of gold. So, it's a bit of a waste. Ah, yeah, but a walk away with the spin. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering the same thing myself. Like, he's got on the drums, but it seems like Signal are just all aggression this game. They're not it, really playing for the late game. It's, James, hmm. James, he will find another kill on Polison. 
Right. So they're finding the kills. Like this Ember is escalating just based off these kills. He's second in their worth now, and he's almost got that Maelstrom up. It's weird because it's sort of working. As top lane, Jewel will be there. They'll find the Crystal Maiden Grimms. We'll go down, but Miracle is a much bigger target, and they will take it. Nando picks that one up with the spin, and that's going to make it a 12 to 8 now, 12 minutes in. An absolute bloodbath this game. Straight towards that T1 top tower. Very easy pickings for the side of Signal. Definitely is. They are really starting to come together here. Getting those early pushes out. It's an issue of pacing for Alpha X hashtag. They have not melted all the tier 1s. Uh, you really want to at least clear those out at this point with your Lesh and your Shadow Shaman. He has those wards up. Haven't seen it commit in a big push. Would really like to see that coming out now. You really need to get that gold on all of your heroes. You are giving a lot of space to Signal. One thing to point out from Signal is Van is rushing in Aghanims, which on the core is not the most difficult, although Hello. Van. will find a jewel. Well, they're trying to help him out. The jewel will not actually end Van. He still survives. He's running away. They finally find him, but James is on a triple kill. Now an ultra kill on the Ember Spirit. They all just melted. That's how you play on dying. That's that's how you do it. You keep yourself alive long enough, your teammates come back in. They didn't get the dual win. They didn't even get the kill in the undying until after the LC died. So you lose out a lot there. And you cannot underestimate the power of the core undying. Even without that tombstone, his kit with just QW is really strong. The heal coming out from Soul Rip is massive. The heal nuke and the K, of course, just gives you so much HP from the strength steal. Again, going back to his item build, he is going for that Ags. I can see the utility of it. The issue is, if you're not going to maximize that early on, you might be better off with those Guardian Greaves that are much more common on the old, you know, old core undying is the Guardian Greaves. Maybe the Vanguard or the Pipe of Insight in this case would be a massive boon. Still, though, can't fault Van. He has been having a fantastic run so far. I mean, 10 stolen strength with the Ember Spirit's line of fist. Ooh. That's going to be pretty disgusting to play against, but AXH run in with the smoke, but Grim stops him straight away with the Frostbite. The Ember, James is going to be alright. Van, he'll move in. Miracle, so darn low already. The Leshrac not going to survive. Now the Oracle, well the Ogre, excuse me, has been caught out with Polison on the Shaman. They may lose the puck, but no. Solrip will keep Eris alive. Winter trying to go after him. He'll find him, but at the cost of his own life, it's going to be another 3 for 1. The only saving grace is nothing to say is still free farming on the Alchemist. They just don't seem to care though. <sighs> there are ways to keep this here in check. Um, it's going to be a rough time though. He is still finding the farm he wants. Really remains to be seen when this out comes in. I mean, you take a look at that net worth. It's a less than 1k advantage for Signal, but that's against an Elk. That's not the kind of numbers you want to be seeing out here if you're Alpha X. Certainly not. Looks like Velo could be in trouble top lane if he's not careful. He does back off. Smart play from him. This is really rough for AXH though. Like, once that Agamemnon Scepter is up, the struggle is going to be really, uh... It's going to be real, like... In the light, in the right lineup, like, this Koran dying actually works out so darn well. If he's stealing 20-30 strength off somebody every team fight, they're going to have no HP to survive. They really won't. It's actually amazing that Van is getting away with his sort of a greedy build because there are ways of punching the undying when he doesn't go for those early aura items it's just that alpha x is not kit kitted out for these early fights they're just trying to stall out for nothing to say to find farm they have really lost out in the timing of miracle again and it's not down to him they just haven't been grouping up properly and taking these early towers nice so coming out of the Grims will get taken down by the Jewel of Velo. 
So some more dual damage for him. Looks like Nando will have a Diffusal Blade up soon on the Jug. Yules will come up now on Miracle on that Leshrac. Yellow with that Blink Dagger can really initiate for the team now and get those single target pickoffs. But Van is 700 gold away. Even less, in fact. Just needs that Blade of Alacrity now. So Apple Wards are going to be dropped up to the tier 1 top tower. They'll claim it very, very easily. And things will just go on as they have been. Nothing to say. He's got a BKB, got a Blink, got a Radiance. Going into that Mjolnir next. We haven't seen it in effect yet, but he's got the net worth. Definitely does. He is soaking all the farm in the map. It's been a struggle for uh, their boss one miracle to really find something. I'm not sure if you're actually going to be depending on this flash rack for as much anymore. It's the same story from game one. And I can't fault Miracle. He's just trying to find a farm he can on the opposite side of the map, forcing out the waves. He hasn't been able to melt towers himself, but his team did manage to clear out that tier 1 up top. It's just that they haven't been anywhere near close to threatening these tier 2s just yet. Which really should be the objective if you're going to be playing around your Lesh. If you're not going to be playing around the Lesh, then it should be perfectly fine. Miracle? Why? Yeah, it goes for the Yules. Not sure what he was trying to get there. As they chain him up. Not Grims will just channel the ultimate. I mean, it, it just seems like he's desperate to find something off this map. There's no space to really farm, because nothing to say is taking it all. As, a, as I say that, he is smoked up, but before this, he was just all across the map taking all the farm. And I suppose the argument is now that the Leshrac doesn't really have a role. He definitely doesn't. Uh, it's not the fault of the player. It, it's just the way the hero skills and how the game has gone. At this point, you... Probably shouldn't sink too much gold into the Lesh. Uh, one thing to point out, Ag's up on Van. So there you go. All that strength steal, 10 per cast. Going to be really hard to play against. He is going for the pipe next. I mean, if it works, it works, right? The order doesn't matter, the items do. The pipe is going to be a massive help against this early damage coming out here. And once the Crimson Guard is up as well, or the Guardian Reeves, going to be very hard to kill anyone. Well, they'll get started. Of... Miracle straight away getting chains up. Stable Concoction, has he found somebody? Yeah, he got Grimms on the Maiden, but Jamesy jumps straight in. Right in the middle of all of it, Miracle is dead. Nando now oh. pops the ultimate straight on the head of the Alchemist, and that net worth means nothing. Winter goes down as well. They found Polison on the Shaman. They'll burst him down. Bellow's the only one to walk out of there alive. 50 strength on Van. <laughs> Look at that. 3.7k HP at level 13. Seems fine to me. Perfection. Absolute perfection from that. You know, John, consider just... yep. considering you're the one who always complains to me that Undying needs to be buffed. You know, Van's kind of uh, not making many, uh, not really helping your point here. I, I don't think he's a counterpoint to my exact point. This is the first Undying game we've seen win out by outside of TNC Zone games. I'm joking. Right? Just Statistically, I, I know you get upset. Ma the mats don't lie mike numbers don't lie you lie oh nice duel yeah it is cancel the tp off but he was already spinning it jamesy just oh, comes no. back in bellows dead winter's trapped up in the chains this will be another kill though no nothing to say he does come back in oh. they find nando it's a turnaround jamesy how does he get out of this he just remnants out bkb's up straight back after polison on the shaman but there's too many enemies to go for still he finds polison now making a run for it again dream call back onto bello he doesn't want to die back like this but it looks like he may just have to doesn't really have a choice in the matter though van gonna be the man to take all the strength oh. ultimate nice use from miracle bit of an awkward scenario as the crystal nova does scout them out soul rip for van nothing to say he's gonna stick around but miracle is gone the less rack nothing to say I mean, he can keep going. He's pretty farmed up himself. Bello, not so much. Van, he's stolen 50 strength again. And it looks like that'll be the end of that. 
buybacks do give them a way to come back into this fight, but ultimately, it still was a 3 for 4 trade, including those buybacks. And while they got a decent amount of gold, the net worth graph has actually swung in Nando's, excuse me, not Nando's, but rather Signal Ultra's advantage. It's rough, right? Like, all this gold is going into your Alc. He is the guy getting all these big kills. So that gold advantage he has is building up. But it worries me when you see Nando at level 16 with not the best itemization. He hasn't had the most free farm start. And he just Omni Slashes and still your Alchemist is deleted. That is a very concerning sign from Alpha X, although nothing to say. <laughs> Jumps uh, in. Can't sorry. believe what he's saying. <laughs> that is awkward. And that is that was potentially uh, a very dangerous spot to be in if anyone else was there to help out. Well, he had the Omni Slash as well with the double damage. Nando could have actually just gone for that. Perhaps just worried about the bounce on the Roshan, which is fair enough. They'll smoke up. Nando will just go back into that Roshan pit. Still has the double damage, so he can do this very quickly. Doomstone even being dropped preemptively. Just for the Roshan fight in case it comes. It doesn't look like it will. Signal, they'll be able to claim the first Roshan of the game. There it is, Aegis on Nando. It's, it's such a weird scenario, like, you look at nothing to say, 10k ahead of the Jug. 10k of anybody else. But you said it before, like, he commits one Omni Slash and suddenly the Alchemist is nothing. It's just down to the fact that all his items aren't anything to tank him up. And we're not yeah, at the point where you buy those items. Oh. Dual bot lane. Serpent Ward's being committed as well. They really just want that kill and they will claim it. That's the Aegis. Jamesy goes down. Nothing to say as well down at the bot lane. Or excuse me, the top lane. Eris will not be able to find the cancellation on the TP. Middle tower is under and so a nice pickup. They take the Aegis. They take the Ember Spirit. If Alpha X Ashtag can do that a few more times, they can pull their way back into this game. It's about time Signal starts to put out some more defensive wards, perhaps in the lane, you know, up on those walls at the side of the map, just to watch for these movements coming out. I think that's what's costing them these kills. They've got to keep an eye out for those rotations out, especially at bot lane. There have been a couple of times... They haven't found kills or, you know, in that last moment, they lost their lives because of that kind of positioning. Eris runs into the yoga. Winter just going to back off. Doesn't want any part of that. Banarins will be taken up at the top lane by signal. Bot ones will be taken, of course, by AXH. Now an Abyssal Blade will come up on nothing to say. Top lane, another duel going to be out onto Nando. He does not want to get caught out, but Jamesy again going to jump in and try and help out. They're going to find Winter as the trade, it seems. But Nando continuously dying to those jewels coming out from this Legion Commander, Velo. Then that over and over again now. Just can't afford to continue dying like that. They are giving quite a fair bit away every time this happens. You are also slowly building up in Velo. He does have a nice 66 damage on himself now. So he can be a menace in these fights. And we kind of have stalled out on our jog. Is working towards that Lincoln Sphere next, but just about 1,600 gold before he can take that item up. Same thing for Jamesy. He's working towards it as well, except he's pretty close. Just about 100 gold away. Bot lane. Bad. Jeweled up. Bellow. Gets it started. Nothing to say. Jumps in as well. Another nice victory coming out from Velo. 
Nothing to say now. We'll force in that tier 2 tower. Rotations are there, but I don't think they can really stop this alchemist. Fernando gets started. Has the Omni available if he wishes to throw it out. The tower is dead though, and nothing will just back off. Though no, never mind. Dream Call does come out. They're going to try and initiate James. He jumps in. BKB up. Serpent Wards and Omni Slash thrown out. Nothing to say. He just melts. And Velo wants to get the hell out. Winter is there to try and help, but Velo, he runs the wrong way. They're right there. Instead, they will just suffice for the Winter Ogre kill if they can. This Velo is just a little bit too difficult to chase down like this. That is exactly what they do. So a nice team fight being taken by the side of Signal Ultra. While the tower was taken. In fact, they get another one down at the bot lane thanks to Miracle. The kills are certainly still going the way of the Radiant side. Definitely is. They still are finding those momentums. They manage to... You know, they sometimes give out a couple of kills here and there. But overall, they are still in the lead here. You have to consider the fact that... There is a network lead for Alpha X hashtag, less than 1k, but they have an Alchemist that's about 10k ahead of the next hero on Signal Ultra, and that lead is still less than 1k for the side of Alpha X. There are some issues here they have to plug up. And goes straight through the mid lane for that tier 2 tower. No contestion whatsoever from AXH. Bit too risky as you don't know where the rest of Signal Ultra are. Miracle though, looking to push in that bot lane with the Leshrac. Perhaps just waiting for his opportun opportunity during a team fight. They know he's there though. That's the chain's gonna be there from Jamesy. Split Earth is not even gonna come out. And it seems like that's what they've relegated uh, the left track for is just, just split push constantly. Just force them to come back into their lanes and push them out. Don't allow them to take too many towers on the side of Signal. Yeah, that's definitely the best they can hope for now coming out from this flesh. And Miracle still managing to do some work. First, you know, at, at the very least, they do get some space out of here. There are still so much more to be worried about. It still is on the edge. Like, there are ways for both Signal and Alpha X to just take complete control. But right now, it is pretty dead even for both sides. Towards that bot tier 2 tower now, Signal. Well, AXH. Gonna hang around, get those top banner runes up. Signal will probably do the exact same thing. They will, they'll grab the bot once. AXH, do smoke up in the Roche pit. So perhaps ready to take another team fight. Double damage is up on nothing to say, so they've never really had a better opportunity. Unfortunately for them, Signal seem to be aware of what's going on, and they back off as well. A bit of a missed opportunity there, but nonetheless, they should at least be able to maybe get some control down in the jungle, although I don't see any wards drop. Rather unfortunate. And I, was, I mean, I was about to ask the question as to what this Junk's going to pick up. I mean, it does seem like his attack speed is a little lacking for that Omni Slash. He's going into the Butterfly next, which makes enough sense. It's going to make it very hard for Nothing to Say to just burst him down as well on the Alchemist. He doesn't have an MKB and doesn't really want to have to buy one. Yeah, that's uh, probably not the best item for the Alch. Not going to be too happy if he's forced into that situation. So this is, there's a lot of value in this item coming out for Nando. And he should be able to clear this tier 2 just by himself. Perfectly fine. But they do trade that tier 2 down mid as well. 
Those are the wards committed for that take. And we are pretty much even in terms of map control. All tier 2 is off the map. Grims does not get caught out. Miracle just did not spot him out behind that tree. And so 4k net worth lead now for Signal Ultra. And if you have an Alchemist, I mean, he's basically peaked. He's going to get a Moon Shard, and then after that, you'd assume he just goes for the Aghanim Scepter upgrades. That's only good news for Signal, though. Like, if this Alchemist is peaked, it's, he's, getting, he's not really getting much stronger. Moon Shard will add quite a bit, but... He's going to need some help. It's really a case of durability here. He does have that AC up, so that's going to help a lot more in case he gets jumped by that jug. But you have to consider the magic damage coming out. You have to consider the strength steal coming out from Van. It might not be enough to keep him alive for that long, especially in a prolonged fight. If Van can decay as much as he wants, then you are in a very rough spot here. Both teams just completely sticking together as well, just not separating too much. Of course, you do see the Leshrac doing his thing. He does have a BKB up now as well, so you've got a 10-second charge there for Miracle. And he's going to go into that bot lane, looking for the puck. Goes for the Split Earth attempt, but the orb was already there. And Eris will just happily back out. Looks like Eris is actually going for an Aghanim Scepter himself, so that'll be up fairly soon. That'll make things a lot more difficult uh, in these team fights, especially for the side of AXH. Nando has also found out the Roshan's respawn, so that is exactly where he goes straight away. Yeah, it should be a fairly simple take, although there is a rotation from Alpha X. They are smoked up. Yeah, this could be massive for them. They spot out Grimms, go for the easy duel. Grimms literally just stands there and takes it. He knows he's dead. <laughs> He'll buy back straight away. Now the Dream Core comes out. Blade Mail is there. Nando though, Omni Slash all on the Elk. He does bounce around, but it's so much damage. It's just not quite enough. Winter, he's still gone. Nothing to say. Sitting there man fighting. He'll throw out the stun on Van, who has so much decay stacks. Eris fighting a double. Miracle going after Jamesy and does get it. Is that the end of that? It looks like that will be the end of the team fight. And neither team will go into the Roshan pit. Both will get out, get the hell out of there. And it was a very even two for two trade. One buyback each team and then both of those were supports. Nando actually does go back in. He wants to try and force this again. I mean, why not? This is massive opening. You know that they don't have the chemical range for a while. Although it is going to be up in short span. There you go. Oh, there. Winter melting, but Miracle comes in, saves the day, Van's gone, and Nando's gone as well. AXH pushing it back their way, Dreamcore is there, Aegis on the deck, but it is picked up. Remnants in, but it's all too late. Oh no, Jamesy. Grims with the CM ultimate, not really doing as much as you would hope. It's still a lot of damage, but nothing to say, cleans him up. Bello, the Spirit Vessel may tick him out on the Legion Commander. Paulson gonna hold back. Van on the Undying. Nothing to say. We'll go ahead and clean him up. But that is a lot of decays. It does not matter. Velo will heal him up. And an ultra kill coming up and nothing to say. What a team fight for AXH. And that Moonshot apparently really did help out the Alchemist. He hits like an absolute... <laughs> it's really pretty did. darn quick. It definitely is. And... They did manage to go for that. I, I'm so curious as to why Signal Ultra decided to go back into that Roche Pit. Uh, just a flabbergasting sort of decision, and that is going to cost them. That's just going to be a tier 3. No buyback in any of those heroes. No reason to pull back here for AXH. Just going to go Yeah, Jewel yes. is there straight off the In fact, never mind, it's not a Jewel. Press the attack. Serpent what's being dropped. Dream Call comes out. What does it matter? Eris, he just can't defend this. Wow. They will Omni Slash the wow. best. Miracle falling low. Polison does go down. Nothing to say. Does not care. Straight to the Ancient. AXH, they will pull off another victory to close off the group stages of the close qualifiers for themselves.
Well, it took a bit of time, but a nice victory indeed. I honestly, John, for the whole game, we did think it wasn't going to go very well for them as it just seemed like everything was going bad apart from the Alchemist. Bello kind of stepped in on the Legion Commander, really turned it around for the team, and then nothing to say, just came in and cleaned up. Yeah, that was a really good play coming out from AXH. They managed to hold out long enough to get some success going for them. That does leave them at, I believe, zero wins, two draws, one loss, or zero wins, two draws, two losses. So overall, a pretty rough time, but a decent enough showing. I'm not sure what this does do for their placing, though. We will find out as it does go on, Mike. Otherwise, you know, Signal Ultra still going to be there in second place. One win, two draws. Not going to be too comfy with that. Geek Fam has a way of climbing above, the, above them now if they're not careful. So that is something to watch out for. We will be watching Geek Fam next, and that should be an interesting match indeed. Certainly. They'll be up against Reality Rift, who have had a equally as rough of a time as AXH have. We'll see how they all turn out. Geek Fam, a very strong team in this close qualifier. And we'll get over there pretty darn soon. It's MLP Dota and Drenix Fire. We'll be back with you in a couple moments for the fourth series of the night. See you soon.